Hello everyone. As a WooCommerce shop owner, you would definitely want to create a more personalized and optimized shopping experience for your customers. Now, customizing your WooCommerce cart page can help you do that. Thus, in this video, I'll show you how you can customize your WooCommerce cart page with ease. I'm Aparna Singh from Learn Woo, and let's get started. First things first, the appearance of the WooCommerce cart page can vary depending on the theme being used. Now, themes can have different design elements and layout configurations, which can affect the way the cart page is displayed. This ensure to check different themes to find the perfect suitability to your requirement. For example, your WooCommerce cart page would look like this in the storefront theme. And this is how it looks in the Astra theme. Meanwhile, if we check 2020 theme, then it would look something like this. And in the 2021 theme, it would look like this. In this video, the theme uses storefront. Let's move forward and see how to customize WooCommerce cart page layout. To customize the cart layout, we shall be using the WooCommerce Blocks plugin. Let's first install the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. Now search WooCommerce Blocks. Once it appears, click Install. And once it's installed, click Activate. Now once the plugin is activated, let's make changes in the cart layout. For that, go to WordPress Dashboard, Pages, Cart Page, click Edit. Delete the default cart block or cart page shortcode. Then add the card block from the WooCommerce Blocks plugin. Click on the plus sign here. Search card. Once it appears, click on it. The latest card block is much more user friendly than the default card layout of WooCommerce. The design is minimalistic and conversion focused with only one prominent button for checkout. Next, you can also customize the page title by clicking on it and editing it accordingly. Along with that, you can also move the card block up or down. For that, click the block, click on the up and down arrow from here. Next, you can also drag and drop to adjust its position when there are other blocks on the page from the drag and drop icon here. However, it is advisable to keep the card page clutter free for a smooth user experience. Next, if you want to switch the preview between full card as well as empty card and make more modifications, Click the eye icon or the switch view icon from here. Now select the filled cart. Let's first see the options for the full cart mode. Click on the cart block and select it. Access the block settings sidebar. Here in the right sidebar, toggle the dark mode inputs option from here to change the style that would suit dark background colors. Next, to enable or disable the shipping rate calculator, simply click on the shipping block within the cart block. Now, here in the right sidebar, you will get an option shipping calculator. Toggle it to enable or disable the shipping rate calculator. Next, let's make changes for the empty cart page layout. For that, go to empty cart page option from the switch view option here. For this page also, we will toggle the dark mode inputs option from here to change the style that would suit the dark background colors. Click on any particular block from here to make the changes. You can change the your cart is currently empty text to anything you want. Drag it up or down from the drag and the arrow option here. Next, click on the browse store to edit the hyperlink of the store. Click on edit and make the changes. Next, change the text here to explore and you can select the category of the products that are viewed. For that, click on that block. Click this icon here. Now, select which products you want to be displayed here like best selling, top rated, newest products, etc. From the right sidebar, you can make the changes in rows and columns like two columns, one row, three columns, two rows. However, I would prefer to keep it three columns and one row to give it a clean look.
Do WooCommerce Blocks plugin is one of the best options to customize the cart page layout. You can also try out some of the page builder add-on plugins to customize the cart page templates according to the different requirements. One such option to consider is JetWoo Builder add-on for Elementor. It provides custom templates and layout switches to make it easy to mix and match the elements. Additionally, JetWoo Builder offers advanced tools and elements to customize various WooCommerce pages. Another plugin to explore is the DV Shop Builder. By using this plugin, you can easily enhance the features of DV to customize your shop, cart, and checkout pages. Now, with this builder, you will have extensive control over the design elements while building your site. Moving on, WC Builder is another option to look into. Now, it is designed for users of WP Bakery and helps build different WooCommerce pages, including the cart page, without requiring any coding. Now, with WC Builder, you will have access to many additional customization options while using WP Bakery. The next step in customizing the WooCommerce cart page would be giving a clean appearance to your cart page. Now, for that, it is important to offer a custom header and footer to the cart page different from the other pages. For this, we will be using the free Elementor page builder along with the header, footer and blocks plugin. Let's quickly take a look at how it's done. For that, first quickly install and activate Elementor page builder. Once that's done, install and activate the Elementor header, footer and blocks plugin. Once both the plugins are installed, first let's create a cart header template. For that, go to Appearance, Header, Footer and Blocks and click the Add New button. Give a title to the header. Now click Edit with Elementor. Now drag and drop the text editor to the page here. Edit the text according to what you want. Once done, click Publish or Update. Now go back to the settings page of the template. Scroll down to the type of template option. And here select Custom Block. Once done, click Publish. Now copy the short code. Go to the cards page. Add a short code block. And paste the short code here. Similarly, follow the same steps and make a card footer template as well. Once it's created, copy its shortcode and paste it in the bottom of the card page. Similarly, there are several free plugins in WordPress to help you customize cart features. Now, one such option is WooCommerce Menu Card Plugin. The WooCommerce Menu Card Plugin helps you display a card button on the navigation bar, which you can customize according to your store requirements. As a result, you can present a card button on the navigation menu that is more user-friendly. You can also take a look at another option that is WooCommerce Side Card Plugin which provides an alternative method of displaying the card on your store. By having a side card that is easily accessible, your users could find it highly beneficial while shopping, thereby enhancing their overall user experience. Furthermore, having a side card available in your store could contribute positively to the user experience. Another option would be the WooCommerce Ajax card plugin. Now, it allows your customers to change card quantity without clicking the Update Card button every time. Users can change and update card quantity without clicking the Update button using this particular plugin. 
Next in the option we have XT WooCommerce floating cart plugin. Now with the help of this plugin you can offer an undisturbed floating cart to help your customers with a smoother shopping experience. You can display a floating cart to better experience for your customers. And that's all. This is how you can customize your WooCommerce cart page. The links to all the plugins that were mentioned in the video are given in the description. Do let us know in the comment section if you want us to make a more detailed video on any of these particular plugins. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.